the easiest thing to do is to go to someone else's, in a sense, red ocean, and then pull your fish over into your blue ocean. What are the opportunities there when you're contrasting? It's like Kajabi, but like, what is the X factor there? And there's so much stuff going on in terms of what high level can do. This is all about the death of Kajabi. Things are changing. <laughs> Things are changing. Okay, we're doing a high level hot take. High level has introduced the ability to import a Kajabi courses. You can import Kajabi courses. So it's always fascinating when import is a thing because it one of the main reasons people get stuck in a any platform or software is the the cost and labor of moving. The switching costs. Yeah. Yeah. So a um, couple con li little piece of context here. Kajabi had a two billion dollar valuation in 2021. I actually don't know if if it has. I don't think they've done another round. But so they they raised 550 million dollars in 2021. Let me see. Yeah, they just everything just says they're valued at over two billion because they had the valuation at two billion in 2021. Do I think their valuation has gone down over the last couple of years? I do not. I think it's probably only gone up. And one of those big reasons is because of switching costs. They realize after you put your stuff on the platform, it is a pain in the butt to move it over anywhere. And so it is one of those things, those high sticky values. This is actually one of the things that I've um, advised a number of folks to do. If you want to make your platform sticky, get them to put a course in there and then get them to put a learner in there. Because after they have a learner in there, like all of the people, um, who still have Kajabi, they're not leaving because someone paid. Here's a good example, practical. Um, Billy Jean, when he did his birthday deals, there was like $37 or whatever it is. Um, I don't know if he'll ever leave Kajabi because he put everybody into Kajabi. There's people in there. I put tens of thousands of people in there. And so he knows he can't, he, he would, it, it would be more of a pain in the butt like to shut it down and have everyone be like, you're a criminal. Like you said, to give me a lifetime yep. deal or whatever, whatever it is. So he has to either wait the accepted amount of time where it's like, after this point, you know, we stop, you know, telling people that they're, you know, they have access to stuff or realistically, he feels like I got to keep on switching. I just got to keep bringing them with me, even though he's, you know, shut down the business a couple of times and, and, and innovated and pivoted. But I'm going to guess his game plan is pay for Kajabi for the next 10 years and then just shut it down. You know, he's probably not going to be like, let me switch all these people that paid 30 ish dollars for access to this stuff over into a new platform. And right. uh, it's just, just the, the switching costs aren't worth it. Some people do, but the switching costs are really hard there. So you have $2 billion company. And I mean, 2021, I'm like, how much has online businesses grown? And now that was, you know, a little in, in the peak of pandemic, but there's probably more memberships, more courses, more things like that happening oh, in, yeah. in Kajabi. Kajabi also benefited from um, a little bit of a network effect um, where when you sign on, when I was like, join, you know, log into Kajabi, it was like mattdecino.mykajabi.com and they had a mobile app for Kajabi. And so they had all these things, but it's still Kajabi backing. So yep. there were people who were like, oh, I've got a Kajabi account and I can see I've got access to this creator's course, this creator's course. So all to say there's a lot of content, a lot of value in Kajabi. And what High Level's done now is they've introduced the ability to import your uh, products from Kajabi. And so you can literally import it from Kajabi and uh, you create yourself as a user inside of your account there. And it goes through and essentially, I think, like scrapes the content and then pulls it over and formats it into High Level. So this is enormous in terms of reducing friction for migration. This also opens up a whole opportunity if you're like, I'm now going to say switch from Kajabi. We will switch you off uh, from Kajabi. Even like that possibility, like thinking about that has uh, so many potential value levers there. But this yep. also, because this is my hot take, is you're like, no one is safe. No one is safe. And that's, you got to be thinking for like ripe disruption. Mostly my my feeling at this point after I experienced this is like, man, they ne they didn't let me. I offered a long time ago, but like th this is like if you could own stock in high level right now, like I'd feel very good because you right. are just you're just let me let me take a piece of this billion dollar company. Let me take a piece of this billion dollar company. Let me take a piece of this billion dollar company, and um and and also introducing the extra sticky things. So. If I were a listener and I just learned about this, and this is great. One, if you have Kajabi, congrats. Now you can easily move it over. But two, 
just in the same way that we've been like chipping away at podium over the last couple of years, like now you get to chip away at, at Kajabi. And so the easiest uh, thing to do is to go to someone else's, in a sense, red ocean and then pull your fish over into your blue ocean. And so what are, what are the opportunities there when you're contrasting like, it's like Kajabi, but like, what is the X factor there? And there's so much stuff going on in terms of uh, what high level can do and how you can value stack this. I actually know other folks too, where if, especially if you're in the info, in the digital creator space, um, yep. this is this is enormous, huge, huge win. Um, but also the same thing that created a uh, stickiness for Kajabi for all these years are are becoming a stickiness factor in high level. And here's the th same thing too. It's like the best hacker protection, if you will, are hackers, right? This is like the government will be like, oh, you're the best hacker. And they hire the hacker to prevent right. you from hacking the government. And so you better believe that high level's like, yeah, we cracked the skeleton key on someone else and also prevented anyone from cracking the skeleton key on us. And so when right. that sort of stuff happens, you're like, you're just... Um, doubling down on the on the value potential there because you're like they're just going to siphon like I say they but we now get to siphon off customers and and it's going to be hard for anyone to retaliate like there's not going to be a quick like migrate off of high level because once you exploit someone else's like you know weakness or opening or something like that you're like and I you're also thinking how could I prevent that like what would I have consulted Kajabi on on how to like prevent this from happening and so the last time we saw yeah. this happen uh, we had click funnels with the import of funnels there, and they literally redid the entire platform. Like they went from 1.0 to 2.0. Um, I don't know if that was the catalyst or things like that, but like that, like sure. they ground up rebuild. It wasn't slight pivot, it was ground up rebuild. And so here's another nice thing too, is like this, people like Kajabi, they're funded. They, um, the stories that they're telling themselves is like so much of their stuff is like not based on cash flow. They're focused on actually creating consumers in their category. Basically, they're going to be helping folks build their first course online. Right. And we're going to be like, and I'm going to retain you after you've got your course. So yeah. it's like, go ahead, build your first yeah. course. Go That's test great. it out over there. Once, you have, 100, once you have 100 students, yeah. come see Then us. you come over here. <laughs> exactly. So it's, it's, it's just this funny thing because they... When you're at that size, you have to be able to create, like you have to expand yeah. your addressable market. And so like, yeah. it's great. It's beautiful. This is like, we, we think of the same thing with like ClickFunnels. Like they're that size. Like they're creating, they're helping people get their first funnel. I'm like, I, I'll just take people when they want to optimize their funnel. And so in the same way here is like Kajabi's helping people build their first course. And I'll just be there to be like, hey, wasn't it awesome? Congrats, you made your first course. Now do you want your course to have AI integrated? Or do you want to have all these other things? Or do you want to reduce the complexity of operation to be able to put this all in one place? And uh, so that's the the potential here. This is a huge, this is huge, a huge thing. Release. Yeah. So again, listener, what's their what's the thing they could do? What what could they do right now? What's the big opportunity for them? Two sides to it. I'll give you I'll give you a ninja thing since it's my hot take. Um, right. High level also allows you to do shared courses, if that makes sense. And there was a huge trending thing over the last year of this idea of it's called master reseller rights. Basically, I'll give you the right to resell my content. You can do that very easily inside of high level. And we know it's a very sticky thing. So I don't care if you are like, I'm doing a SaaS for accountants. Subtly, most service providers like are, are slightly jealous of infopreneurs or even like membership folks or whatever it might be. And so if I helped an account, I was like, I'm going to put together a uh, accounting course, basically I'll put like a 17 ways to save you $17,000 or more designed for if you, if you own a small business, this will save you $17,000 or more. And it's the 17 things that every business owner should do that accountants, you know, could advise you in, probably do advise you in. And it's probably just an aggregation of strategies you can learn on TikTok or whatever. But you put that into a course. And then you help accountants sell, I don't care if it's a lifetime deal, sell a lifetime deal to their course for 27 bucks. They sell five people. And it was the most magical $100 they ever felt like they ever spent. And let's change it up. They sell 10 people. They made $270. They're like, wow, this is incredible. One of them becomes a customer. Like, that was cool. I, I made 300 bucks didn't have to fulfill on it. And one of them turned into a recurring customer and they make $1,000 a year during their tax or whatever it is. The other nine people on that course, that's the reason they're going to stay on your software. Yeah. So even if they only take the action for one month or two months or three months, just like I started with like the Billie Jean, the sunk cost fallacy of Kajabi, yeah. that 
sunk cost fallacy now works in your favor. And that's the most ninja thing I could think of is if you lower the barrier for them to have a customer in their membership area, it'll be hard and imp- almost impossible for them to leave. And think about that. It's like I gave a white label course um, to them that they could grant access to their customers. And even if I'm teaching them a strategy of how to do it for low ticket as a you know lead gen you know liquidation strategy, or it's like, hey, why don't you just sell this course to people in your city and make it 27 bucks? And even if it costs you $35 to sell a $27 course, like that's effectively a $7 lead or I uh, maybe did bad math there, but you know, uh, um, eight, $8 lead, You're like that's an $8 lead of a buyer. And so they're like, oh, that sounds great. Instead of a hundred dollar lead for a verified, buy, you know, for a qualified, qualified lead. Um, but you're all the while thinking it helps them. It does benefit them, but it, it makes you incredibly sticky, even if they give up on the strategy. Cause that's what a lot of people run into is like, I help them get leads. I got them a hundred leads. And then they're like, I got to stop running lead gen with you. Here's the thing where it's like, if I helped you get a hundred course members, yep. even if you're like, oh, I've got more customers than I can handle for the rest of the year. You're like, no worries. Like yep. the membership area still keeps running. And so yep. that those are the kind of things Super that... Smart. Um, and that's where it's smart to break when you have such a large, you know, this is high level hot takes, when you have such a large, robust platform, really breaking it down and unpacking into like, well, this is the feature that's going to be sticky for you. And so like, and and making that be the angle that you sell. Like that's really smart, Matt. Love it. Well, so there it is. Go, go get it, try it out. And uh, it's pretty mind blowing. We can now import courses directly from Kajabi.